I have made this video like 10 times. It's bittersweet for me. <laughs> uh, I've had a lot of my subscribers come to me, private message me and say, what the hell, where are you? Where are your videos? What's going on? Are you okay? And I just wanna let you know, yes, I am okay. I took down my videos, most of them. I left a handful of them up. I made over 700 videos in the last three and a half years talking about my struggle with addiction and my recovery process. And uh, over 700 videos, can you believe it? <laughs> um, I have some changes coming up. In three and a half months, I am moving from Seattle to Arizona. And I'm moving to a very small town just outside of Tucson, and I'm making a fresh new start. I've worked for myself for, since 2009, I've worked for myself, and I'm gonna be in the job market. And um, I'm also going to be trying to fit into a very small community. Most people move out of little towns to go to a bigger town. I'm moving out of a big city to go to a small town. Um, I no longer want to be a part of the rat race of a city. Um, my goal is to get some property and maybe a little tiny house. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I got to get the property first. But I'm going to go live in the town that is closest to where I want my land to be. And just see if I like it out there. And there's not very many people out there. And just by chance, I want to give myself a running start. So... If those videos of me sharing these really vulnerable, intimate parts of myself are out there, sadly enough, it could harm me. And, um, you know, when you're new to a place, um, it's important. It's important to want to fit in. And if just by chance one of these people in the town saw a video and word got out, especially I'm an entrepreneur, I'm going to want to build another business and it could affect me in, in a negative light. And it's sad, it's bittersweet, you guys. I, I've i enjoyed sharing my story with you. I've met, virtually met so many people on my channel who since the very beginning, middle, you know, new subscribers and stuff who've shared so many parts of their lives with me. And um, I've had people tell me that just, you know, me sharing my story has helped them in ways or plant seeds and got their wheels turning into thinking in a different light. And that's powerful. That's, that's amazing. I recommend anybody, anybody, if you are in a position where you can, sharing your struggles with other people, it's helpful. It helps others. And I recommend if you can do it, go for it. At this point in my life, Sadly, I'm not going to be able to share that stuff with you anymore. Um, it's a tough topic. It's a tough talk, it, topic that a lot of people don't understand or, or want to talk about. And so I just have to protect myself in that way, at least until I get to know people. And uh, once I get to know people, maybe I can put them back up. But probably the next year, not so much. I've left a couple, a few videos up of like me and Tim Johnson doing the interview and me and Doc B. Although I was really nervous in the interview with Doc B, just to let you know. Um, but I left a couple of those up and um, <sighs> my plan is to come on to YouTube and do a live stream probably about, I don't know, once every two weeks and say hello because I have created these relationships and it's not something I wanna just completely let go of um and also there's more to me than just you know this this dark side um i have other interests and so i might throw up a video every every now and then about something that something else that i want to talk about so i hope that's okay um i spend about three and a half hours a day on social media and that's answering comments, answering uh, you know, questions, um, corresponding with people. And while I've enjoyed it for the last three and a half years, once you get to a certain subscriber count, it, gets, it starts to get overwhelming and very time consuming. At this part of my recovery process, it's really, really important to me. It's important in general to create and experience real life 
interpersonal connections. So sharing my life with people in my personal life, continuing to work in a 12-step program and continuing to work with other women, my sponsor, my therapist, my groups. Um, and so my recovery is going to be very personal from now on and it's going to be one-on-one -on -one personal connection. Social media can be great to hear other people's stuff, but there's nothing better than connecting real life with other people who are struggling just like you are and other people who have hope to share um, around that struggle. Yeah, it's great to do online meetings every once in a while, but getting in person, in depth with people in your own community, that's where the power is. That's where the little gold nuggets are. So I, I encourage you to get into your own community and start creating those connections around this struggle. Um, I can't express to you how, how meaningful, how more meaningful it is when you're in person. Um, I just got back from a woman's group about an hour ago and it was just, I left there just elated. Um, you know, these, these, these places where people gather to share their lives, their experience, their strength, and their hope, it's just, the energy, there's nothing like it. It's like going to a concert, you know, you get that burst of energy, or going to the gym, you get that burst of energy, and, you know, I can, I, I'm still going to be watching the people in the recovery community and commenting on their channels and offering them support here on YouTube as well. Um, and that's helpful for me. But like I said, if, you know, this is just one part of it. Um, also, I encourage anybody who can to get out there and make your own videos if you can. Um, it's been a real big power tool for me. When I look back on my videos from day one to three and a half years later, my life has improved drastically. I made a commitment to come on here at least once a week and share the hope I was experiencing or the struggle I was experiencing or, you know, if I had a slip or a relapse or if I was doing great, you know, I made a commitment to come on here and share that. And that is, it, it offered me a lot of support. Um, and in turn got the wheels turning in some other people's heads to really take a look at their own lives. And so, yeah, if you can get it on here and make YouTube videos, I encourage it. Um, but if you can't, I totally understand because that's kind of where I'm at now. Um, so I'm gonna have a lot more time, a lot more free space, and um, I'm excited. I'm excited for this new adventure. I want to tell you that I really appreciate the time that you spent here with me. I know you can go on YouTube and watch who, whomever you want. And those of you who decided to take your time out of your life to sit and listen to what I was going through, thank you, thank you. And your words of encouragement and your tough love and all of the above has been helpful. Um, so I'll see you guys around. It's just gonna be in a different light. I'm not going to be talking about this topic any longer, at least until I figure out where my life's going and who's going to be in it and all that stuff. So I hope you stick around for that. And if you don't, I understand. Um, so catch me in a live stream soon and I'll talk to you guys later. All right, bye.